Wimborne Town travelled to league leaders Biddeford this afternoon and the Magpies were on the wrong end of a 3-1 defeat. Neither of Wimborne's new signings, Jamal, with a, who missed out with a, a, an ankle injury, and uh, Greg Taff, who was on the bench, started the game. Uh, manager Steve Cuss, Cuss opting for Brad McGookin and George Webb in the centre of midfield, Jamie Davidson and uh, Elliot Ward in the midfield, with Matt Kemble and Tom Jeffs up front. Biddeford were on the front foot from the start and went ahead after only nine minutes, uh, 13 minutes, when Paul Roast upended the Biddeford striker in the box and the referee pointed to the spot. Matt Hockley poked the ball away to Jason Harville's right to put the league, leader, league leaders 1 nothing up. And three minutes later they doubled that tally when a deflected Matt Andrew shot found its way past Jason into the net. Things were looking dim for Wimborne at this point, but they got back into the game on 28 minutes when George Webb netted from the spot after the referee had spotted a, a, a Biddeford hand in a, in a goal mouth incident. 2-1 at half time would have been a reasonable result for Wimborne who were coming back into the game, but it wasn't to be and Biddeford scored the crucial third goal with eight, mi eight minutes before the break through Ian Sampson, who had all the time in the world when the ball was knocked down to him on the penalty spot to pick his spot past Jason. In the second half, Wimborne looked probably the better team and played some nice football, but never really looked like getting away, getting, making their way past a, a stout Biddeford defence. Steve Cuss brought on Russell Cook for Elliot Ward in 55 minutes, New boy uh, Greg Taft came on for Paul Roast, which just showed that Wimborne were throwing everything at it with 18 minutes to go. And Ben Mogg, young Ben Mogg, came on to make his debut with seven minutes to go. As I say, Wimborne looked marginally the more likely in the second half, but for all the quite good football that was played, neither goalkeeper was really troubled, and it finished with it Biddeford 3, Wimborne Town 1. On a pitch that was surprisingly good, considering this was the only Southern League match to, to beat the weather, uh, Wimborne's star player was probably Tom Jeffs, who got through an enormous amount of work in his second full 90 minutes of, of the week, having turned out for Christchurch on, on Tuesday. Also worth the mention, Nathan Pepper annan I thought, played, played well, um, and nobody really played badly. Biddeford were just that little bit too fast, a little bit too strong, and closed us down too well. Next game for the Magpies is next Saturday at home against Bishop Cleave. And so it's Ken Fergus from an extremely cold Taunton Services signing off and hoping to see you there next Saturday.